In the early 1970s, the United States Air Force issued a request for proposal, a tactical transport aircraft capable of short takeoff and landing from semi-prepared fields, carrying a 27,000-pound payload and operating within a 400 nautical mile radius. McDonnell Douglas answered the call with the YC-15, a bold design incorporating a supercritical wing for high low-speed lift and low transonic drag, and pioneering externally blown flaps that utilized its jet exhaust to boost lift. Two airframes were built, featuring four Pratt & Whitney JT-8D-17 engines, a large cargo hold, and a cockpit equipped with one of the earliest heads-up displays to assist in short field landings. The first prototype flew on 26 August 1975. During testing, the YC-15 demonstrated exceptional STOL performance. At a gross weight of 149 to 300 pounds, it approached at only 87 knots and touched down about 300 feet from the runway end. However, despite its strong performance, the AMST, Advanced Medium STOL Transport Program, shifted focus toward a platform that could perform both tactical and strategic airlift roles. The narrow mission of STOL proved limiting. In December 1979, the AMST effort was canceled. Nonetheless, the YC-15's core design lived on. It became the foundation for the subsequent Boeing C-17 Globemaster III strategic tactical airlifter. In the end, the YC-15 never entered production, but its innovations did. One of the two prototypes is preserved today at Edwards Air Force Base. The other was scrapped.